Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about computer maintenance and how to keep your computer physically clean. Let's go ahead and get started. So why is it important to keep your computer physically clean? Well, when you clean it, it can keep it working properly and help you avoid expensive repairs in the future. Now if you ignore this, it can create damaged hardware. And so when I say hardware, I'm talking about any physical component on your computer. Think of this all the way from your desktop computers down to your mobile devices. You're going to want to clean every single device and make sure that nothing is accumulating. Now, the things that are accumulating on your devices, and as you can see here from this keyboard, is dust, food, liquid, other particles. Basically, anything that might be on your hands, when you touch it with your hands, all of that kind of comes off and it makes it dirty over time. Now, obviously, this keyboard on the uh, picture here is very dirty, and so I'm going to use the keyboard and the mouse as examples of how to clean, and I'm going to show you how to clean them properly. So, first thing that you need to know is uh, with a keyboard and with a mouse, go ahead and look at your keyboard, and uh, you'll notice that it accumulates dust pretty quickly. So, I asked my students, hey, how do you clean your keyboard? And one of them said, oh, you just smack it on the desk a few times to knock out the part particles. That is not the correct way to do it. Typically, you're going to want to unplug the keyboard first. Okay, so first step, unplug the keyboard and then turn it upside down. Once you have the keyboard upside down, then you can give it a gentle shake and you'll notice that some dust and some particles will start to fall off of the keyboard. Now keep in mind, a gentle shake is not going to clean the entire keyboard and it's not going to make it look brand new. So you do need a few other things. Compressed air, as you can see in the picture, you could go out, buy some compressed air and shoot that in between the keys. If you shoot that in between the keys, it'll knock all that dust that's below your keys out of the keyboard so that it's no longer stuck in there. Okay, the next part is you'll notice that the top, even with a gentle shake, is not going to get completely clean. Now, what you have to do from there is you moisten a cotton cloth or paper with some rubbing alcohol, and then again, not too moist because you don't want the liquid to actually get inside of the keyboard, and then you rub the top of the keyboard to clean it off. Okay, and that will get it to where it needs to be. You wait for the keys to dry, and once they are dry, you reconnect your keyboard. So there we go. That's how you clean your keyboard properly. Next thing you need to know is how to clean your mouse. Please note that there are two types of mice, right? You have your optical mouse, which is the one that you'll see here on my screen, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. Optical mouse, you'll notice at the bottom it has a laser. Okay, hopefully you guys could see that on the video, but that's an optical mouse. And they do not require any internal cleaning, meaning you don't have to uh, disassemble anything or take anything off or anything like that. You can just uh, clean it as is. Now, they do collect dust over time and it could cause erratic cursor movement. So if you ever see your cursor jumping around from one side of the page to the other, you may want to check out the bottom of your mouse to make sure that there's nothing blocking or in the way of that optical light or that optical laser. The next up, you'll see a uh, mechanical mice or a mechanical mouse. This one collects dust and particles very easily because as the ball, as you can see right there, uh, moves the rollers on the uh, bottom of the mouse, it will collect any piece of like hair or anything like that that's on your mouse pad. Now the problem with that is it'll actually accumulate inside the mouse on the motion detecting rollers. And if the mouse doesn't move smoothly, uh, it may need to be cleaned. So you have to really keep that in mind that if you're going to use an optical mouse, you're going to spend, or excuse me, a mechanical mouse, you're going to spend a lot more time cleaning that mouse. So uh, as you move forward, uh, it may be a better investment for you to just go out and get that optical mouse if you are still using a mechanical mouse. All right, so uh, last thing that we need to go over here is to clean that mouse. First thing, unplug it. So you unplug your mouse, you're ready to go. Then you take that same moist cloth, cloth or a different one, but you, same sort of technique. You take the rubbing alcohol and you clean the top and bottom part of the mouse. Now you're going to want to make sure, again, you are not drowning the mouse in rubbing alcohol. That's not what you want to do. It's just for the exterior. And then uh, if you do use a mechanical mouse, you need to remove the tracking ball by moving counterclockwise on it and take the ball out and clean the rollers on the inside. So that actually takes a lot longer to clean than say a optical mouse. And then the last part, allow the parts to dry. 
and then reconnect. So as soon as everything's dry, you reconnect it and you're ready to go. So hopefully this video has shown you a little bit about properly cleaning your keyboard and mouse. Remember, don't smack anything against the desk to try to get particles out. That's not the way to do it. You're going to want to make sure uh, that you clean it as gently as possible to make sure that you don't damage uh, or break any of the hardware that you're using. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. And I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.